Hey guys, it's Chrissy here, and today I'm doing, um, Dwarf Hamster Care. So, yeah, basically what you need, and what you should have, and, yeah, basically that. So, yeah, let's get to the video. So, um, she's really, she's old, so she doesn't really like being held, <laughs> nope, she does not like being held anymore, I used to hold her, but she doesn't really like being held, she's like, nope, so, yeah, I'm gonna try to get her out real quick, come here, Ugh, tip, you are naughty, I am your mother, So she's not really letting me hold her because she is being annoying right now. Okay, so she, apparently she does not like me, but and <laughs> I don't know. I guess some dwarf hamsters just don't like being held. Like literally, I'd like grab her and she'd just jump out of my hands. So I don't know, you jerk. But anyway, so basically, what you're going to need is what. Um, so you need like a water bottle, and it is full, you, s you can't really tell if it is or not, but yeah, you're going to need a water bottle, and then you're also going to need some food, and I, I actually need to refill her food right now. Hi, hooligan. Oh, okay. Well, it's, um, KT Health, <laughs> hold on, Healthy Support Diet, Hamster and Gerbil, so this is what I use for her, and yeah. I think she's going up to eat it right now. Maybe not. I don't know. So next, you definitely need um, a wheel. Now, I know you're probably thinking, it is freaking disgusting. And yes, I know, I really need to clean it. I'm probably going to clean it today. She just got, like, poop all over it. It's disgusting. I don't usually keep it like that. She just, like, I don't, yeah. I'm going to clean it. So you're also going to need a wheel. And, ah, she just, like, kicked mulch at me. And, like, regular toys in the house also work really well. So, what I used is this train, this train, like, track thing. And, basically, she can, like, climb up onto it and go over it. And then she can also hide under it. And I can still see her. Like, there she is. Hi, Tip. And an igloo is also nice. Um, and just, like, have, like, little toys in there. And burrowing space because dwarf hamsters love to burrow. Oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> what the heck? You're so weird. Okay, so dwarf hamsters are small creatures. So if you have like a barred cage, I wouldn't suggest getting like I wouldn't suggest getting a barred cage just cuz the possibility of them getting out and if you, your hamster is like mine tip, you're never going to get it. Like it's just going to be all over your like house and it's a mess so yeah you wanna have a tank and even though they're small creatures you need it like it needs to be a big tank like this is a 20 gallon tank that I view I'm using um make sure it's long because obviously they're not gonna go up like they're animals that aren't like birds or what is she freaking doing okay Whatever, we're just gonna ignore her for now. So, yeah, I'll show you how big it is. In case you haven't already noticed how big it is, this is the size of her enclosure. Um, I did have two, but sadly, one passed away. Her name was Penny. But this is a good size for one anyway, because they travel far distances um, in the wild. So you want to just like make sure you can kind of replicate that and give them um, a good amount of space. 
So she's old, and I think that's why she doesn't really want to be held. But when she, when you're you when you just get a, like a brand new dwarf hamster, you want to try to give it attention a lot, and like wait a few days. Like wait a few days. Don't because they're traumatized from being moved. So you just want to wait a few days and let them get used to their like natural home, and then you can like put your hands in and see if they'll like climb on and you gotta like try to get them used to your hands and you and yeah and hopefully you can get them to bond with you and hold like you let you hold them which I did have especially with my other hamster penny cause this is actually um my brother's hamster which she's mine now cause he doesn't really like do anything with it so basically she's mine now but my friend my other hamster penny she was a lot better at this and yeah. So, yeah, you want to give them attention and make sure that they're, like, doing all right and maybe, like, hold them and, like, make sure they don't have, like, any, like, anything unusual to make sure that they're nice and healthy. And one last thing, I, you definitely need, like, well, you don't definitely need some, but I recommend getting some chew toys, like, wooden ones. That's what I use. You can't see them, but they're, like, burrowed in her <laughs> den area. Sorry about that. Um... And also bedding, I do not recommend wood shavings. Like it can just cause so many problems, and you do not want that for your beloved pet. So basically, you just get like regular bedding and make sure it's good. Ask the pet store worker, and yeah. So basically, that's pretty much all you need to know on taking care of your pets. Um, well, your dwarf hamster. So give it a lot of care, make sure it has food, water, a wheel. A wheel is a must-have, it's not like optional. A wheel is a must-have. Um, you also need places to hide, um, like things they can like run and play over and stuff. Um, they can, like maybe some climbing space, obviously bedding because they're going to need a burrow and it's a lot comfier for them to sleep and it's just better for them in, in general. And so, yeah. And guys, let's be real. You're gonna need some ventilation. These, this is like wired at the top. You can't really see it that well. Hold on. But yeah, you need some ventilation so your hamster can breathe. Because you don't want your baby suffocating. Even if they don't like you. But yeah, that's pretty much all you need. Is what I just told you. And to make sure to love your dwarf hamster. Because... I'm sure they will love you back if you give them enough attention. And, okay, I'm not, like, I did not, let, I did not neglect my dwarf hamster, if you're wondering. She's just one of the hamsters that doesn't want to be held. And if, that, if that's one of them, if your hamster is one of them, then you need to respect that. Okay, I don't know what she's doing. She's, like, crawling under the wall. Yeah, she's a weirdo. But, yeah, so respect if you're... Respect that if your hamster does not want to be held, that you you just respect that because I uh, you you just respect that. I don't know if you heard me wrong, because if you're holding them and they don't like being held, then that could like that could like scare them and stuff. So yeah, I don't really hold tip. I've tried. I guys, I've tried a lot, but she won't. She just doesn't like being held. So yeah, and she's old, and I don't want to give her a heart attack because you you know. She does, they don't, dwarf, the thing about dwarf hamsters is they don't live that long. That's the, pretty much the only con I'd have about them. And, yeah. Make sure you also have to clean your cage. You have to, like, clean it, like, every few weeks. So it doesn't stink and they're, they're, it's a new environment. And when you do clean it, mismatch everything. Make it interesting and exciting for them. They don't want the same boring layout of their home. Add new things take some things away I just have fun with it they're your pets have fun with it so yeah make I hope you guys like this video make sure to like subscribe comment down below good things and have questions I'll be doing a cat and a dog one soon because that's also pets and freshwater tanks so yeah bye guys